Jeremy Bamber murdered five members of his own family. Peter Moore killed four gay men for his sexual gratification. Douglas Vinter stabbed his wife to death, having been released from jail for murdering a colleague. Considered so dangerous, each was given a whole life tariff, not eligible for release or review. But today, judges in Europe ruled that breached their human rights. Their lawyers successfully argued the sentences were inhuman and degrading. No sentence should absolutely extinguish and deprive any hope of change or redemption in the future. And that was what they said was wrong with these sentences, that that had been removed from them altogether. The court ruled there has to be both a possibility of release and review, perhaps after 25 years in prison. The government will now have to amend the law to create a system for reviewing whole life terms. But the court stressed there is still no prospect of imminent release. The Yorkshire Ripper Peter Sutcliffe is one of the 49 people currently serving whole life tariffs. Richard McCann's mother was one of his victims. The thought of my mum's murderer being released causes me an extreme amount of anxiety. But I have to tell myself that, you know, it's not going to happen. Um, on paper it could happen, but I have to believe that, you know, the right decision will be made uh, as and when he comes up for review. This is Jeremy Bamber at his family's funeral in 1985. He's always protested his innocence and today he said, my whole life order has now been given a system of reviews, but there's no provision for someone who is wrongly convicted to prove that they are worthy of release. Such hope is, in reality, no hope at all. For the government, it's yet another blow to British sovereignty. I think the British people will be deeply frustrated by this. It's certainly not what they want. It's not what they believe is right. It reaffirms to me my own determination to see real changes to our human rights laws uh, and to see a, a real curtailing of the role of the European Court in this country. These murderers were told they'd almost certainly never be released. Now, for them and other notorious killers, life doesn't necessarily mean life. Rebecca Barry, Five News.